I honestly could really give a F about how my body changes at this point. That changing is a bonus to me. Good mother morning. <laughs> But what's up everybody today it is like 6 30 i'm getting ready for the gym i just stretched and i gotta run out right now um i am working out with my trainer and um i just gotta you know you know you're sweating you just gotta go in this smell a little like something you know what i'm saying so get ready with me Mwah, bye hi y'all so i am on my way to the gym um, and it's, it's up and early and I don't know like maybe I just had like a great weekend or I'm feeling good but it feels good to be up this early um, I feel really productive and I feel very very well rested and I think like waking up early like because before I used to wake up at 7 and then I you know wake up at seven and then that, that's when I started my day. But I felt like I was still running into being really rushed throughout the day. So I'm like, no, I need to wake up like at least one more hour earlier and like set up some things just one more hour earlier. So now I am starting a new habit of waking up at, like getting up out of bed at like six, 6.20ish, rather than like 7.20ish. And I'm going to see if it makes a difference in like how much time I have and things like that. So I, I'm just, I didn't know my face was cut off. So yeah, I am doing that and I feel really good. And I think the most important, important is going to sleep on time. I still am going to sleep around like 11, 12, but I, I just feel really well rested. I don't know, because usually at this time, I feel like I'd be so droggy, <laughs> so annoyed to get up this early, but I feel really good. So I'm really grateful for that. But in my mind, um, I'm truly only really getting a trainer because I feel, for me, working out and making this part of a lifestyle has isn't like the hardest thing but in terms of being consistent it's been very hard to be consistent like getting myself to the gym has been very very difficult and to work out um but when i'm in the gym like i put in my work like i, I it's just about getting up you know at a different time and so like anyway my main goal in working out is really just to have the no my main goal of having a trainer is really to have an accountability partner i feel like even when i was at the gym i did a good job of the workouts i was doing in my opinion and even my trainers the same thing like oh i mean like your form isn't too bad you're pretty strong and different things and um like i'm i'm active i just found myself working out for months stopping working out for two three weeks stopping and i don't want to do that anymore like i want to work out for two to three months straight like no skips like non like make it a non-negotiable and i i don't want to say i couldn't do it on my own but i was i was really struggling to be consistent on my own so i felt like i just had to put some money behind what i wanted to do and i think it's important to really when you when you when there's something you want to change you really need to sit down with yourself and be practical about okay how can i realistically make this happen like what are the things i can put in place every single day to actually make this happen and not just every single day oh i'm gonna do this no what are you gonna how are you gonna you know manifest your life and man manipulate your daily activities to make sure the things you want to happen happen um that's really important and it, it doesn't matter how you do it you just need to think about a plan of what you're gonna do to do it <laughs> and stick by it so to me i just felt that to kickstart this new health journey i had to put some money behind it to have an accountability partner i'm really just paying for an accountability partner and to me that's kind of sad that i have to pay to be disciplined but it is what it is <laughs> and that's just my journey at the moment and that's okay um and I, because <laughs> not because I don't want to say it's a waste of money. Um, I I'm just trying to look at like it's an investment in myself and my health and my future. I really, by God's grace, you know, want to live as long as I can. I want to be nimble. 
Um, and yeah, so I just want to be healthy. I've just been seeing so many older people who are just killing the damn thing and who are so active. And like, I really hope and pray to be that type of person. So, bye y'all. Um, <laughs> just finished with my workout. Today was very much so a like push yourself day. Like we're adding more weight, we're getting stronger, we're stretching ourselves, <laughs> we're pushing ourselves. So I have been um, working with him for the past month and I think I'm gonna go like, you know, all in and really just fully invest in this. So I, you know, I've been liking the way I've been trained, um, just really reorganizing my habits and I've really seen an overall full effect in my life. I remember literally a month ago, I was feeling the worst I have ever felt <laughs> in a long time. Um, physically, mentally, my mental health was terrible. I had no, I don't know, I just felt like I wasn't having a very well-rounded life. And to an extent, that's a very privileged problem to have. So I don't, you know, I hate complaining, but listen, if I'm being real with you, I'm a complainer. I'm a complainer because when I voice out how I feel, I feel better. So that's how I'm positioning it in my mind. <laughs> so yes, I complained to <laughs> get it all out. I'm not a keep it in my, in my self, I'm not a keep it to myself person. I'm a share, I'm a venter. So yeah, like I just didn't feel good. And when you don't feel good, like it was just really effing up everything else. So I'm really happy that I've made this a part of my life. And number one, even before the, um, you know, physical aspect and that, you know, changing over time, I mentally feel good. Like, I feel excited to wake up today, you know, to handle everything that I have to handle. I feel more organized. I feel more productive. Like, I just feel good. Like, I honestly could really give a F about how my body changes at this point. That changing is a bonus to me. I really did this because I really wanted to help my mental health. It was in a terrible spot last month, like a very terrible spot. So I'm, I really encourage other people to find something, even if it's not working out, because working out isn't everybody's thing. But just really sit with yourself and just think about what are the things that make you happy. Like when you're doing a certain activity, when do you get that excited, happy, fulfilled moment because when you're going through a terrible spot in your life those are the only things that can you know push you through whether that's helping your family spending time with family watching a nice movie you know going on the walks going to the spa like whatever you can afford <laughs> whatever makes you happy you know just do it man like this is your life and you have to show up for yourself in order to show up for all the other things that you <laughs> have responsibilities to show up for. So really try to figure that out for yourself, no matter what that is. And as long as it doesn't hurt anybody, do whatever makes you happy. And I can honestly attest above all, this has really made me feel better. So I'm really glad that I took the initiative to make this change in my life. So three days later, Hi y'all, um, happy Thursday. I'm all dressed up. Okay, I just had a meeting and um, I then now just rushed straight to my dentist appointment. And um, so I'm just gonna go to my dentist. It's crazy, I didn't tell y'all, but my dentist is my uncle. <laughs> He's a whole life dentist and that's the only dentist I've ever been to. I've been to like different orthodontists, but like why go to a different dentist when your uncle's a dentist? <laughs> so yeah, we're about to go um, to the dentist. I don't know if he's gonna let me record. He likes to be shy, <laughs> but we'll see. Um, but yeah, come along with me. We are on the road. So hi y'all, I'm at the dentist. I didn't think I was even gonna get here on time, but I got here like right on time. So I'm good on time when I wanna be. <laughs> right now I'm about to get seen. I don't wanna show patience. Um, yeah, I'm about to get seen and and then again clean my teeth just a regular scheduled cleaning and then we're all done Alrighty, bye y'all
experience. You want a special experience. Go to go to Stop believing that you spoke clear. Hey y'all, I just left the dentist. Um, of course, Uncle didn't want to be seen because he's shy. Um, but it was actually really good. Um, nothing's wrong with my teeth. I'm really adamant about my teeth. I really care about, I care a lot about teeth, especially my teeth and sometimes others, but I just don't say nothing because <laughs> it's on my face and that's rude. Um, but yeah, I'm really big on like flossing. I'm really big on brushing. I'm not going to lie though. This may be disgusting, but I don't always brush two times a day. I mainly brush like one time a day. Um, and that's really like in the morning. Like I need to get better at brushing at night, you know, but I mainly just brush one time a day. And I usually just floss at night. I don't know, it's weird. But um, like after I eat something, because even though I've had braces, sometimes like, you know, your tooth, your teeth widen. So like meat gets stuck back there. So I'll, I'll use like the floss, um, you know, pick or whatever, floss out that stuff. And just go to sleep <laughs> and I try to get if I remember to brush my teeth I brush my teeth but um yeah so I'm really big on like scraping off the plaque so like my teeth are moderately or oh, shirty king it's crazy like the teeth size like these teeth are so big and these are so small and these are adult teeth but yeah I love my smile I think I might get it whitened there's so many like whitening strips and stuff so that'll be next on the list. Um, but yeah, I, I'm not gonna get some food. Probably get some Chipotle. Get some for the fam or whatever. I was trying to find somewhere new to eat, but I wasn't seeing anything interesting, to be honest with you. Like anything interesting and healthy. I want to get some Italian, but like Italian's kind of heavy, you know? Um, so yeah, we're just gonna get Chipotle. I always end up getting Mexican food. <laughs> like, I feel like that's everyone. You always just go get Chipotle. You always go get just a taco. You always go get like, I'm always eating rice. Like, I'm always eating Mexican. I need to switch it up. I really need to switch it up. It's not cute. I think like Mexicans also typically just more affordable. Like, you know you're gonna smash some tacos. You know what I mean? You know you're gonna smash a burrito. Like, you know you're gonna smash a bowl. It's just like, in, like you know, fresh ingredients thrown into something, like. Everything else sometimes may seem so like, oh, I don't know about that. But no, like, talk, Mexican just always seems like the best option, but I'm really kind of getting sick of myself. I need to push myself to like, try different foods, like German, I, I eat Nigerian foods. I guess I don't always eat Mexican. I eat like a mix of, um, Asian, Mexican, I don't even want to say Mexican, I eat more like Latin food, so I eat, you know, all types of Spanish-speaking country foods, <laughs> and um, eat Nigerian, I eat Asian, I eat Italian, I just don't eat it enough, and then I want to try other shit, you know, I like Jamaican, I get Jamaican here and there, yeah, because American food is just so bland, like, my uncle's just saying that, like, I don't really like Panera Bread. Maybe I just haven't gotten the right thing. I'm not really effing with Panera Bread. Like, American food is just so boring. We're always eating someone else's food. That tells you how boring American food itself is. Like, all you have is burgers, pizzas. That's not even really American for real. And, yeah, I feel like the only thing America owns is burgers. And I'm not eating that every day. What's up, y'all? It's Drake album day. Also, Beyonce came out with her, um, you know, I don't know, what do you call this? A sneak peek of, of just basically announcement that she's about to drop something. Um, <laughs> so it's gonna be a very lit, you know, summer. Summer 2022. It's giving lit summer. <laughs> And the album just came out. It's like 6.30 a.m. On the month, Friday. <laughs> Why did I do myself, do this to myself on a Friday? Um, it's Friday. I'm about to go to my trainer. And 
I really have been against working out on Fridays. I don't believe in it. <laughs> I believe in working out during the week. So typically I do like Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Um, and typically I'll do like Friday by myself, but I'll probably just get in more time, you know, with my PT. And then, uh, and then, um, but at, literally after today, I'm not doing this again. Like next time I'm just gonna do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. <laughs> and then, yeah, cause I just, Fridays and me aren't, are just not gonna get along. But working out, Drake just released his album at midnight. I'll sleep through it cause I had to wake up. Um, but the only thing get me through this Friday workout early in the fucking morning is this Drake album. Oh, so I'm excited to listen. The only thing I've ever, I've heard from someone is like, oh, the album is wild. You should have kept that in the vault. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I'm like, is that good or bad? <laughs> so I responded. I was like, is that good or bad? I'm like, it doesn't matter. I'm listening to it all day. So I guess he really dropped some heat in this shit. So I'm excited to hear. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited to hear. I hope it's good. I hope there's at least like one party banger. That's always like the thing that makes me upset. Like I want one party banger at least. Like I, I'm that crowd. Like you can please everybody else with all your soft stuff. I'ma still play your shit, but I want something to, to you know, bop in the club with at least. Just one. Just one. <laughs> and then I'll simp on the way back home from the club. You know what I mean? <laughs> That midnight drive, that 2 a.m. drive after <laughs> you get back. I'm bumping Drake. I'm a big Drake girl. I don't give a fuck. Like, I stay, this, this, this is a Drake stan account. <laughs> like, oh my gosh, I love Drake. If I could just meet him once. <laughs> There's a couple people in this life I want to meet. Like, I want to meet Drake. He's like, he's like one of the like, only ish celebrities that like, mus musician, musician. Celebrities that like I really want to meet one day. Like Loki more than Beyonce. <laughs> Argue with your mother. <laughs> I don't care. Like Beyonce would be cool, but like Drake and Rihanna, those are like top tier. Like Rihanna because self-explanatory. And then like I love Beyonce. Not that I don't like Beyonce. Like I just I'm crazy about those other two more. If I meet Jacob Beyonce, I would geek. <laughs> Like when I say geek, I would motherfucking geek. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm gonna be Drake and Beyonce. And then YouTubers, if I could meet anybody, it would be, uh, I'm gonna tell you on the car. Okay, my friend is responding to me. He said the album is bad. I don't care though, I shouldn't have asked him because I wanna have my own opinion before. And I'm still gonna have an open mind because I love Drake. <laughs> I love. Drake. But I literally texted my boyfriend. I was like, you know, Drake, drop it out of me. <laughs> like, I'm so excited. Oh, I'm playing the car. I'm bugging. I'm about to say I'm play. Usually I watch YouTube, not watch. I listen to YouTube videos while I drive. But like, no, it's Drake Day. I'm sorry, not sorry. I'm about to be playing the album. It's called Honestly, Never Mind. Um, oh, my other favorite celebrity that I um, would geek over. No, other favorite YouTubers are like Nazneen Kavari, um, Rissa and Kwan, Juju and Des. Who else did I geek over? Ooh, Lamy Day Elizabeth. I mean, I wouldn't geek over Lamy Day Elizabeth. Um, I guess more so because like she's not like some like million subscriber, you know, person. But I definitely feel like she's on the she's on the track road to get there. Like she's an early YouTuber, but like she's so freaking smart. And I don't think I would necessarily like geek over her because I kind of look at her like um, we're kind of the same. Like I think she's Nigerian. She's young, she works in corporate. Um, she's just so I think smart, like has so many real estate properties. Like I look up to her like damn, like 
you know I this is the like there's a bar for you know the world and there's like a bar you set for yourself and like I just love how she set the bar for herself so fucking high like that's just what <laughs> I feel like every woman should have that mentality not just woman everybody should have the mentality women are not like but it's just so much like doper because she's so young and she's a woman and she's black and she's Nigerian it like it feels like bitch if you can do it I can do it like um so I really love her um, I really look up to her you know from a parasocial perspective <laughs> and yeah there's some a couple other people but those are the people that come like top of mind right now uh but yeah i will hit y'all back up later well y'all see me in the gym um and then after that i'll be in the car you know but but <laughs> i'm gonna play the actually i'm gonna play the first like 15 seconds with y'all because i'm not gonna get copyright <laughs> but you know we're free for 15 seconds at least let's just hear let y'all hear a snippet by this is up y'all would have been heard this song because the, the the amount of time it takes me to edit videos like i it's not coming up the week <laughs> the week i said i don't know we'll see <laughs> Alrighty, but let's hear the intro the next day what's goody in the hoodie um i am getting ready it's juneteenth baby and um i'm trying to wear like you know afrocentric colors for juneteenth so i'm getting my makeup on i'll see you after i put on my makeup and then yeah i this morning it's saturday I just spent the morning editing, caught up with an old friend, and now I'm getting ready to go out downtown. They have like a do-rag fest. Oh, I forgot that I need to wear my do-rag today. Good thing I forgot. that. Does that go with my outfit, bro? Oh, um, this might require me to change my outfit. Oh, shit. Okay, I'll come back to y'all once I figure out what the hell I'm wearing and what I'm doing. Bye, y'all. Hello. Um, uh, hi, y'all. So, I ended up keeping my outfit. Um, and right now I'm on my way to do Rack Fest. I've never been. It's super hot. It's 93. I'm stupid hungry. I haven't eaten all morning. Um... I can't focus right now. But yeah, anyway, so I'm on my way to the Durag Fest in downtown Charlotte. It's at Camp North End, which is like another, you know, neighborhood in downtown Charlotte. And yeah, so I'm just going to check this out. I got my Durag. Y'all going to see it in the next clip probably. And then we just going to live out. They got some food places, some vendors, and like a whole bunch of different shit. So it'll be cool. I'll see y'all when I get there. Oh, that's nuts, man. 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 That's uh, what did I do last night? Last night I went out to we went out, we went to the bars. We were dancing, vibing with some friends and stuff. And then today we're going to a family cookout. <laughs> I'm not wearing any makeup, and that's really rare when I go out to like bigger settings, especially like family settings. Um I try to be done up, but at the same time I just I'm kind of worn out. I don't feel like it. And that is my mom's biggest pet peeve. <laughs> She's like, anytime you go out with your friends, you always want to dress up and be all and pop out. Anytime you want to come with me, you want to look. <laughs> she thought you want to look raggedy. <laughs> Not like I look raggedy, but like just no effort, you know? No effort. I just be tired, boo. I don't know. 
it depends on the, what it is I'll like dress up for it but these days because I work remotely and I don't like dress up every day like it's really just gotta be a super like if I'm super comfortable I don't feel like wearing makeup and it's crazy because growing up that was never me you would never catch me leaving the house without makeup but now I've just really been embracing it my skin's popping I'm a little oily but like really clear no pimples like you know enjoy the sun enjoy the enjoy I'm enjoying this moment in my life of having really great skin going skin let me try, I'm trying to wipe down the the oiliness on my face y'all can't see it but yeah this lip gloss makes my lips look ashy <laughs> I'm gonna have to change this color but yeah it's really good but yeah I, all I put on was like clear gel on my brows and like mascara I use the better than sex mascara and I really like it what do y'all think but I'll see y'all later y'all gonna see the food when I see it bye Get the money with you, make your mind up. If you love him every night, if you make your mind up. Not only you give me love, but make me nice, you, nice, you, nice, you. I feel make your mind up. Girl, I love you, plus I never make your mind up. If I let you smoke, it's still gonna lose my light up. If you're paranoid, then I'ma spend the night up. Take it out, love me every day. Time I'm dancing with my money, I go back.